Um, and the thing that my math majors were, in my opinion, missing the most is I didn't see them engaging with text, um, both writing, but also reading, right? Um, and not being able to be there present while my students were trying to read about a math concept. Um, I was missing out on a lot of the, the sort of that formative thought process, that, that, that wrestling match that we have with a new text that my students were going through, or maybe they weren't, maybe they were just blowing it off. Um, because I think what we find a lot in math is the way that students use and interact with text is very different than the way that folks in the humanities do, because a math student will often come to their textbook because they have a problem set to work on, right? You have to do all the even numbers from two to 20 um, by tomorrow. So they open the textbook the night before, they look first at the problems. Um, and then it's only if they get stuck on those problems, not knowing how to solve them, that then they might go back and flip through the text and try and, and get into a paragraph or two, maybe look for a formula in a big blue box on the page somewhere. Um, find me the magic tool that will help me to get this done. And that's not the way that I wanted my students to interact with text. Um, but I wasn't, there wasn't really a way for me to know how they were interacting with text um, unless we could create a social annotation context around it. Um, so that's what sort of, you know, when I saw that there were tools like Hypothesis allowing one to do this with open resources as the backbone. And Nate, as you mentioned, there's a lot of really high quality open educational resources in mathematics out there. But that was one of those aha moments for me that, that we could kind of have that experience in a virtual space of all sort of gathering around a text and kind of do the work of teaching math students how to read about math. Um, because math is also written about in ways that are not congruous with the way other subjects are written about formulas and numbers don't have a voice until we give them one. Um, and a lot of students don't arrive in college knowing how to do that with a math text. And so having the social context in which to do that with my students and watch their developing interactions with the text and their developing understanding, um, really that for me is the niche that social annotation could fill in my teaching.